Server-rendered web frameworks like Phoenix and interactive push models like LiveView have a few drawbacks. One that comes up often is the problem of time zones. I'm looking at you, Australia. Most apps start out by throwing UTC time around everywhere and just rendering it for the user. In JavaScript spa apps built with React, Vue, Svelte, or whatever's popular that week, the user's time zone preference is immediately available on the first render of the page. Of course, that page is probably going to take a few fetch requests to get there, but there's no flash of unzoned time. One option to make this experience better is to use a sprinkle of JavaScript on time zone elements where they're intercepted and adjusted by the front end. Let's take a look at one of those components now. So I'm using this local time component that I built in my Phoenix app. It's rendering a time element and using date time to string the way that we were before. And then it uses a hook called localized time to set the time equal to whatever the current user's locale is. So in this case, I'm in Phoenix and I see it in Mountain Standard Time. And this is perfectly fine, but eventually it'll be important to know the user's time zone in the back end. Maybe it's to schedule a daily digest email or to determine which day it even is where the user's located. What I tend to do is add a field for the time zone to the user model, relying on a time zone database, in this case, TZ data. And let's actually take a look at what TZ data's lists look like. It's got everything from the time zone list. Every locale that has their own time zone is represented here. Then we can add that field to the registration page, letting the user tell us their zone. So I'll register as user at example.com and find my time zone and then create an account. And once I'm signed in and there's the server rendered time without the flash of JavaScript swapping out the times behind the scenes in the controller, if there is a current user, we just shift that date time over to the user's time zone. And then in the render, we just use the calendar string format time function to output it in a way that matches what we had over on the JavaScript side, noting the user's time zone being stored right here. This is great and all, but the user experience is terrible. If you've ever interacted with a site that chose to show you every time zone, well, I hope your scroll wheel was properly lubricated. But like I mentioned earlier, the browser already knows the user's time zone. Let's have it help us. With Phoenix Live View 1.1's co-located hooks, it's easy to add a little bit of front-end magic to the registration page, selecting the option that corresponds to the browser's value. We can even double check to see if it's one of the options the server's validation is gonna understand. We do this when the dropdown component renders on the page, but the user is free to correct us if we get it wrong. So now when I register for an account, I'm asked for my time zone and have Phoenix automatically selected. If my browser were set to, let's say, London, then by default, this will select Europe London. Technically, we could even take this a step further and make that select element hidden, but I'll leave that implementation up to you. And speaking of implementation choices, I'm curious, have you hit this issue before? What did you do? Let me know in the comments below. As always, the code from this video is available with a link in the description. I hope this helps anyone struggling to get date times into their Phoenix apps. This has been Code and Stuff. Thanks for watching.